The ancient Olympic Games were originally a festival, or celebration of and for Zeus, later, events such as a footrace, a javelin contest, and wrestling matches were added. The Olympic Games ancient Greek, Olympia Olympia, the Olympics, also Olympias, Olympias, the Olympiad, were a series of athletic competitions among representatives of city-states and one of the Panhellenic Games of ancient Greece. They were held in honor of Zeus, and the Greeks gave them a mythological origin. The first Olympics is traditionally dated to 776 BC. They continued to be celebrated when Greece came under Roman rule, until the Emperor Theodosius I suppressed them in AD 393 as part of the campaign to impose Christianity as the state religion of Rome. The games were held every four years, or Olympiad, which became a unit of time in historical chronologies. During the celebration of the Games, an Olympic truce was enacted so that athletes could travel from their cities to the Games in safety. The prizes for the victors were olive leaf wreaths or crowns. The Games became a political tool used by city-states to assert dominance over their rivals. Politicians would announce political alliances at the Games, and in times of war, priests would offer sacrifices to the gods for victory. The Games were also used to help spread Hellenistic culture throughout the Mediterranean. The Olympics also featured religious celebrations. The statue of Zeus at Olympia was counted as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Sculptors and poets would congregate each Olympiad to display their works of art to would-be patrons. The ancient Olympics had fewer events than the modern games, and only freeborn Greek men were allowed to participate, although there were victorious women chariot owners. As long as they met the entrance criteria, athletes from any Greek city-state and kingdom were allowed to participate, although the Hellenodikai, the officials in charge, allowed King Alexander I of Macedon to participate in the Games only after he had proven his Greek ancestry. The Games were always held at Olympia rather than moving between different locations as is the practice with the modern Olympic Games. Victors at the Olympics were honored, and their feats chronicled for future generations. Origins To the Greeks, it was important to root the Olympic Games in mythology. During the time of the ancient games their origins were attributed to the gods, and competing legends persisted as to who actually was responsible for the genesis of the games. These origin traditions have become nearly impossible to untangle, yet a chronology and patterns have arisen that help people understand the story behind the games. The earliest myths regarding the origin of the games are recounted by the Greek historian, Pausanias. According to the story, the dactyl Heracles not to be confused with the son of Zeus and the Roman god Hercules and four of his brothers, Pionius, Epimedes, Iasius and Idas, raced at Olympia to entertain the newborn Zeus. He crowned the victor with an olive wreath which thus became a peace symbol, which also explains the four-year interval, bringing the games around every fifth year counting inclusively. The other Olympian gods so named because they lived permanently on Mount Olympus would also engage in wrestling, jumping and running contests. Another myth of the origin of the games is the story of Pelops, a local Olympian hero. The story of Pelops begins with Enomaus, the king of Pisa, Greece, who had a beautiful daughter named Hippodamia. According to an oracle, the king would be killed by her husband. Therefore, he decreed that any young man who wanted to marry his daughter was required to drive away with her in his chariot, and Enomaus would follow in another chariot, and spear the suitor if he caught up with them. Now, the king's chariot horses were a present from the god Poseidon and were therefore supernaturally fast. Pelops was a very handsome young man and the king's daughter fell in love with him. Before the race, she persuaded her father's charioteer Myrtilus to replace the bronze axle pins of the king's chariot with wax ones. Naturally, during the race, the wax melted and the king fell from his chariot and was killed. At the same time, the king's palace was struck by lightning and reduced to ashes, save for one wooden pillar that was revered in the Altus for centuries, and stood near what was to be the site of the Temple of Zeus. Pelops was proclaimed the winner and married Hippodamia. After his victory, Pelops organized chariot races as thanksgiving to the gods and as funeral games in honor of King Enomaus, in order to be purified of his death. It was from this funeral race held at Olympia that the beginnings of the Olympic Games were inspired. Pelops became a great king, a local hero, and he gave his name to the Peloponnese. One later myth, attributed to Pindar, states that the festival at Olympia involved Heracles, the son of Zeus. According to Pindar, Heracles established an athletic festival to honor his father, Zeus, after he had completing his labors. 
The games of previous millennia were discontinued and then revived by Lycurgus of Sparta, Iphitos of Elis, and Cleisthenes of Pisa at the behest of the Oracle of Delphi who claimed that the people had strayed from the gods, which had caused a plague in constant war. Restoration of the games would end the plague, usher in a time of peace, and signal a return to a more traditional lifestyle. The patterns that emerge from these myths are that the Greeks believed the games had their roots in religion, that athletic competition was tied to worship of the gods, and the revival of the ancient games was intended to bring peace, harmony, and a return to the origins of Greek life. Since these myths were documented by historians like Pausanias, who lived during the reign of Marcus Aurelius in the AD 160, it is likely that these stories are more fabled than fact. It was often supposed that the origins of many aspects of the Olympics date to funeral games of the Mycenaean period and later. Alternatively, the games were thought to derive from some kind of vegetation magic or from initiation ceremonies. The most recent theory traces the origins of the games to large game hunting and related animal ceremonialism. History The Olympic Games were held to be one of the two central rituals in ancient Greece, the other being the much older religious festival, the Eleusinian Mysteries. The Games started in Olympia, Greece, in a sanctuary site for the Greek deities near the towns of Elis and Pisa, both in Elis on the peninsula of Peloponnesos. The first Games began as an annual foot race of young women in competition for the position of the priestess for the goddess, Hera, and a second race was instituted for a consort for the priestess who would participate in the religious traditions at the temple. The Hurrian Games, the first recorded competition for women in the Olympic Stadium, were held as early as the 6th century BC. It originally consisted of foot races only, as did the competition for males. Some texts, including Pausanias's description of Greece, c. AD 175, state that Hippodamea gathered a group known as the Sixteen Women and made them administrators of the Heraea Games, out of gratitude for her marriage to Pelops. Other texts related to the Elis and Pisa conflict indicate that the Sixteen Women were peacemakers from Pisa and Elis and, because of their political competence, became administrators of the Heraea. Being the consort of Hera in classical Greek mythology, Zeus was the father of the deities in the pantheon of that era. The sanctuary of Zeus in Olympia housed a 13-meter high 43 feet statue in ivory and gold of Zeus that had been sculpted by Phidias circa 445 BC. This statue was one of the ancient seven wonders of the world. By the time of the classical Greek culture, in the 5th and 4th centuries BC, the games were restricted to male participants. The historian Aphurus, who lived in the 4th century BC, is one potential candidate for establishing the use of Olympiads to count years, although credit for codifying this particular epic usually falls to Hippias of Elis, to Eratosthenes, or even to Timaeus, whom Eratosthenes may have imitated. The Olympic Games were held at four-year intervals, and later, the ancient historian's method of counting the years even referred to these games, using the term Olympiad for the period between two games. Previously, the local dating systems of the Greek states were used they continued to be used by everyone except the historians, which led to confusion when trying to determine dates. For example, Diodorus states that there was a solar eclipse in the third year of the 113th Olympiad, which must be the eclipse of 316 BC. This gives a date of midsummer 765 BC for the first year of the first Olympiad. Nevertheless, there is disagreement among scholars as to when the games began. The only competition held then was, according to the later Greek traveller Pausanias who wrote in AD 175, the Stadion Race, a race over about 190 metres 620 feet, measured after the feet of Hercules. The word stadium is derived from this foot race. The Greek tradition of athletic nudity gymnos, was introduced in 720 BC, either by the Spartans or by the Megarian Orsippus, and this was adopted early in the Olympics as well. Several groups fought over control of the sanctuary at Olympia, and hence the games, for prestige and political advantage. Pausanias later writes that in 668 BC, Phidon of Argos was commissioned by the town of Pisa to capture the sanctuary from the town of Elis, which he did and then personally controlled the games for that year. The next year, Elis regained control. The Olympic Games were part of the Panhellenic Games, four separate games held at two or four year intervals, but arranged so that there was at least one set of games every year. The Olympic Games were more important and more prestigious than the Pythian, Nemean, and Isthmian Games. 
The games were in decline for many years but continued past AD 385, by which time flooding and earthquakes had damaged the buildings and invasions by barbarians had reached Olympia. In 394 Theodosius I banned all pagan festivals, but archaeological evidence indicates that some games were still held. Culture The ancient Olympics were as much a religious festival as an athletic event. The games were held in honor of the Greek god Zeus, and on the middle day of the games, 100 oxen would be sacrificed to him. Over time Olympia, the site of the games, became a central spot for the worship of the head of the Greek pantheon and a temple, built by the Greek architect Liban, was erected on the mountaintop. The temple was one of the largest Doric temples in Greece. The sculptor Phidias created a statue of the god made of gold and ivory. It stood 42 feet 13 meters tall. It was placed on a throne in the temple. The statue became one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. As the historian Strabo put it, The glory of the temple persisted on account both of the festal assembly and of the Olympian Games, in which the prize was a crown and which were regarded as sacred, the greatest games in the world. The temple was adorned by its numerous offerings, which were dedicated there from all parts of Greece. Artistic expression was a major part of the games. Sculptors, poets, painters and other artisans would come to the games to display their works in what became an artistic competition. Sculptors created works like Myron's Discobolos or Discus Thrower. Their aim was to highlight natural human movement and the shape of muscles and the body. Poets would be commissioned to write poems in praise of the Olympic victors. Such victory songs or epinitions, were passed on from generation to generation and many of them have lasted far longer than any other honor made for the same purpose. Pierre de Coubertin, one of the founders of the modern Olympic Games, wanted to fully imitate the ancient Olympics in every way. Included in his vision was an artistic competition modeled on the ancient Olympics and held every four years, during the celebration of the Olympic Games. His desire came to fruition at the Olympics held in Athens in 1896. Topic. Politics Power in ancient Greece became centered around the city-state in the 8th century BC. The city-state was a population center organized into a self-contained political entity. These city-states often lived in close proximity to each other, which created competition for limited resources. Though conflict between the city-states was ubiquitous, it was also in their self-interest to engage in trade, military alliances and cultural interaction. The city-states had a dichotomous relationship with each other, on one hand, they relied on their neighbors for political and military alliances, while on the other they competed fiercely with those same neighbors for vital resources. The Olympic Games were established in this political context and served as a venue for representatives of the city-states to peacefully compete against each other. In the first 200 years of the Games' existence, they only had regional religious importance. Only Greeks in proximity to the mountain competed in these early games. This is evidenced by the dominance of Peloponnesian athletes in the victors' roles. The spread of Greek colonies in the 5th and 6th centuries BC is repeatedly linked to successful Olympic athletes. For example, Pausanias recounts that Cyrene was founded c. 630 BC by settlers from Thera with Spartan support. The support Sparta gave was primarily the loan of three-time Olympic champion Chiones. The appeal of settling with an Olympic champion helped to populate the colonies and maintain cultural and political ties with the city-states near Olympia. Thus, Hellenic culture and the Games spread while the primacy of Olympia persisted. The Games faced a serious challenge during the Peloponnesian War, which primarily pitted Athens against Sparta, but, in reality, touched nearly every Hellenic city state. The Olympics were used during this time to announce alliances and offer sacrifices to the gods for victory. During the Olympic Games, a truce, or a kecheria, was observed. Three runners, known as Spondiferoi, were sent from Elis to the participant cities at each set of games to announce the beginning of the truce. During this period, armies were forbidden from entering Olympia, and legal disputes, and the use of the death penalty, were forbidden. The truce—primarily designed to allow athletes and visitors to travel safely to the games—was, for the most part, observed. Thucydides wrote of a situation when the Spartans were forbidden from attending the games, and the violators of the truce were fined 2,000 minai for assaulting the city of Leprium during the period of the Akechiria. 
the Spartans disputed the fine and claimed that the truce had not yet taken hold. While a martial truce was observed by all participating city-states, no such reprieve from conflict existed in the political arena. The Olympic Games evolved the most influential athletic and cultural stage in ancient Greece, and arguably in the ancient world. As such the Games became a vehicle for city-states to promote themselves. The result was political intrigue and controversy. For example, Pausanias, a Greek historian, explains the situation of the athlete Sotades. Sotades at the 99th festival was victorious in the long race and proclaimed a Cretan, as in fact he was. But at the next festival he made himself an Ephesian, being bribed to do so by the Ephesian people. For this act he was banished by the Cretans. Events <inaudible> 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 Apparently starting with just a single foot race, the program gradually increased to 23 contests, although no more than 20 featured at any one Olympiad. Participation in most events was limited to male athletes except for women who were allowed to take part by entering horses in the equestrian events. Youth events are recorded as starting in 632 BC. Our knowledge of how the events were performed primarily derives from the paintings of athletes found on many vases, particularly those of the archaic and classical periods. Topic. Running The only event recorded at the first 13 games was the Stade, a straight-line sprint of just over 192 meters. The Dialus lit. Double pipe or two-stayed race, is recorded as being introduced at the 14th Olympiad in 724 BC. It is thought that competitors ran in lanes marked out with lime or gypsum for the length of a stade then turned around separate posts camters, before returning to the start line. Xenophanes wrote that, "...victory by speed of foot is honored above all." A third foot race, the Dolichos, "...long race," was introduced in the next Olympiad. Accounts of the race's distance differ, it seems to have been from 20 to 24 laps of the track, around 7.5 km to 9 km, although it may have been lengths rather than laps and thus half as far. The last running event added to the Olympic program was the Hoplitodromos, or Hoplite Race, introduced in 520 BC and traditionally run as the last race of the Games. Competitors ran either a single or double dialus approximately 400 or 800 meters in full military armor. The hoplitodromos was based on a war tactic of soldiers running in full armor to surprise the enemy. Topic: <inaudible> Combat. Wrestling pale is recorded as being introduced at the 18th Olympiad. Three throws were necessary for a win. A throw was counted if the body, hip, back or shoulder and possibly knee touched the ground. If both competitors fell nothing was counted. Unlike its modern counterpart Greco-Roman wrestling, it is likely that tripping was allowed. Boxing Pygmakia was first listed in 688 BC, the boys' event 60 years later. The laws of boxing were ascribed to the first Olympic champion Onomastus of Smyrna. It appears body blows were either not permitted or not practiced. The Spartans, who claimed to have invented boxing, quickly abandoned it and did not take part in boxing competitions. At first the boxers wore hamantes sing, hemas, long leather strips which were wrapped around their hands. The pancration was introduced in the 33rd Olympiad 648 BC. Boys' pancration became an Olympic event in 200 BC, in the 145th Olympiad. As well as techniques from boxing and wrestling, athletes used kicks, locks, and chokes on the ground. Although the only prohibitions were against biting and gouging, the pancration was regarded as less dangerous than boxing, it was one of the most popular events. Pindar wrote eight odes praising victors of the pancration. A famous event in the sport was the posthumous victory of Arician of Figalea, who expired at the very moment when his opponent acknowledged himself beaten. Pentathlon <inaudible> 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 The pentathlon was a competition made up of five events, running, long jump, discus throw, javelin throw and wrestling. The pentathlon is said to have first appeared at the 18th Olympiad in 708 BC The competition was held on a single day, but it is not known how the victor was decided, or in what order the events occurred, except that it finished with the wrestling. Topic. Equestrian 
Horse racing and chariot racing were the most prestigious competitions in the games, due to only the wealthy being able to afford the maintenance and transportation of horses. These races consisted of different events, the four-horse chariot race, the two-horse chariot race, and the horse with rider race, the rider being hand-picked by the owner. The four-horse chariot race was the first equestrian event to feature in the Olympics, being introduced in 680 BC. It consisted of two horses that were harnessed under a yoke in the middle, and two outer horses that were attached with a rope. The two-horse chariot was introduced in 408 BC. The horse with rider competition on the other hand, was introduced in 648 BC. In this race, Greeks didn't use saddles or stirrups, so they required good grip and balance. In AD 67, the Roman Emperor Nero competed in the chariot race at Olympia. He was thrown from his chariot and was thus unable to finish the race. Nevertheless, he was declared the winner on the basis that he would have won if he had finished the race. Topic: <laughs> Famous athletes. From Sparta Siniska of Sparta, owner of a four-horse chariot, first woman to be listed as an Olympic victor. From Rhodes, Diagoras of Rhodes, boxing 79th Olympiad, 464 BC, and his sons Akusilaus and Damagetos, boxing and pancration. Leonidas of Rhodes, running, stadion, Dialus and Hoplitodromos. His record of 12 individual Olympic titles was broken in 2016 by Michael Phelps, who received his 13th original title. From Croton. Astolos of Croton, running, stadion, Dialus and Hoplitodromos. Milo of Croton, wrestling. Timosithaios of Croton, wrestling. From other cities, kingdoms. Koroibos of Elis, stadion, the very first Olympic champion. Orsippus of Megara, running, Dialus. Theogenes of Thassos, boxer, pancratiast and runner. Alexander the first of Macedon, running, stadion. Dionysodorus, Theban Non-Greek Tiberius, steerer of a four-horse chariot Nero, steerer of a ten-horse chariot Veristades, prince and future king of Armenia, last known ancient Olympic victor boxing during the 291st Olympic Games in the 4th century <laughs> Olympic festivals in other places Athletic festivals under the name of Olympic Games, named in imitation of the original festival at Olympia, were established over time in various places all over the Greek world. Some of these are only known to us by inscriptions and coins, but others, as the Olympic Festival at Antioch, obtained great celebrity. After these Olympic festivals had been established in several places, the Great Olympic Festival itself was sometimes designated in inscriptions by the addition of Pisa. See also Ancient Olympic Games portal Archaeological Museum of Olympia Eponikion List of ancient Olympic victors Athletes and athletics in ancient Greek art Ludi, the Roman games influenced by Greek traditions New Testament athletic metaphors Olympic Games ceremony Panathenaic Games Prizes Topic Notes Topic References Topic External Links The Ancient Olympic Games Virtual Museum requires registration Olympia Koyagons Ancient Olympics General and Detailed Information the Ancient Olympics, a special exhibit The story of the Ancient Olympic Games The origin of the Olympics Olympia and Macedonia, Games, Gymnasia and Politics. Thomas F. Scanlon, Professor of Classics, University of California List of Macedonian Olympic winners in Greek. WebQuest The Ancient and Modern Olympic Games Goddess Nike and the Olympic Games, Excellence, Glory and Strife